execution. Your family gonna want restitution and retribution. Let's not set confusion. Stay the fuck out my way, that's the best solution. I'm 10 times better than Ben. I'm a credit union. I got that stick, I got that tool, I'm packing. Shout out to every single one of y'all. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, you know who I be. Your man Vada Fly, tell your mama I said hi. I know it's early, it's Monday, you know what I'm saying? We just getting up. I got up this morning, I ran my five miles. I've been running five miles a day for like the last couple months and shit, you know what I'm saying? It helps you out. Things like that, that's just me. 10,000 steps a day, five miles a day, you know what I'm saying? I got my numbers too, if you think I'm fronting. I've been doing that for like the last couple months now, but I've been working out in general for like seven months, I lost like 30 pounds and shit. So my clothes might start to fit a little bit like Cap shit. Now I'm just kidding. Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to Cap, shout out to Debo. I seen some of his blogs yesterday. I seen the things that Debo said in correspondence to the events that happened on Saturday. First of all, people was tagging me. Let me tell y'all something. Tagging me, tagging me, tagging me to whatever Cap's got going on. Shout out to him. I told y'all, this ain't no motherfucking beef. I'm just making some money off a nigga who made some money off of me. If he can't understand that, then I don't know what else to fucking tell him. I was, and we're going to get to that, too, because that messed up a lot of my relationships. Because I was such a great flexer, people thought I had money before I had it. But let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But I, I once I got the Rolex, and I was like, yo, this is crazy. Now, I don't have to go live with you on Instagram for free. Ain't no, I don't make no money going live on Instagram. YouTube is where I'm at, and I say what I want. See, the thing is, this is what I told y'all. The shit that happens with a lot of this battle rap shit, they'll talk about you, they'll blog about you, they'll make I hate Vada Fly blogs, but the second you talk about some shit they go through, oh, no, 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 but see, that's the problem. I told these niggas a long time ago, don't nobody control what the fuck going on over here. I talk about what I want. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Get the thing shit you gonna do to stop it. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it goes. I don't care who comes, I don't care what they say, because they're gonna talk about shit from five years ago, eight years ago, me and War Report, me and Norbs, me and this man, fuck all that. Don't nobody care about none of that shit, because I be talking about the shit that y'all be going through 24 hours ago, 48 hours ago. Y'all be wanting to talk about shit from 48 months ago. So just leave me alone. Let me make my little money off y'all. I told y'all the kids is going on spring break and y'all gotta pay. It just is what it is. You gonna be all right, you know what I'm saying, my nigga? Dry off, you gonna be good, bro, ain't no beef. Uh, I understand, you know, you can get at a lot of rappers and shit like that and get mad at them, but you're not getting mad at me, you know what I'm saying? It just ain't like that, I ain't got no problem with you. I seen what was happening, and nigga, you look like you need some motherfucking help. And then the worst thing that they did was that, you know, nobody even pinpointed the fact that y'all let the nigga drive off in the condition that he was in. That's the bigger issue that I have. Everything else doesn't really like equate to nothing. I really don't care. I just talked about it because I know I'm gonna get paid off of it. Cause like I said, they paying for my kids spring break and I will make sure it happens. It's already happened, but I'm just, I'm just doing a little extra right now. I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm just doing a little extra. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no money like mo money, baby. I'll walk you down. Uh -uh -uh. And, and you know, and Caps, I respect the fact that you was outside looking for your run back with Debo and all of that. I respect it. I don't know what you was gonna do with them baggy ass pants with 40, with 40 gallons of water in them, but I would have loved to see what had happened. But y'all can't do that, man. Y'all, y'all, you guys always do this stuff all the time. Y'all talk about people, then when people talk about y'all, y'all get mad. It's cool. I understand that when you talk about me, I didn't really say much or reply, but now I am because the high road is close, and then I'm funny. Then y'all find out I'm funny as shit and always been that way. I can't help that, big baby. But you know, it's no one else to blame. If you listen to that song, Loose Ends, it's called Loose Ends, Stop the Rain, the original version. It says, it says, no one left to blame. You can't blame me. I wasn't there, I had nothing to do with that. Why, why we ain't that? Don't let the party line. Why do that shit all the time? Why was spinning in the rain by myself like a Mario? You know what, Grandfather? You know, I'm by the flyer. When they, when they call me, I'm on the flyer. And that's how I roll. I don't roll just in no motherfucking events just to be standing around hunking and drunken, my nigga. You got caught lacking. I can't help you with that shit. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, you know, take care. Do what you got to do. You'll shake back. But this ain't between me and you. Like, I'm not going to be home with my kids and niggas is tagging me. Yo, you wants to talk to you right now. I don't have to talk to that nigga. I got my own motherfucking channel. Remember that. 80,000 over here. I don't have to go on nobody else's platform. 
Respect. So let's keep it moving. Black Ice Cartel. Shout out to Black Ice Cartel and all them niggas got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like last night was a very, very good night for battle rap. Wow. Battles in battle rap actually still goes on. It does. Um, Black Ice Cartel came back with the resurrection card last night. I'm not going to talk about every single battle and everything that I saw on the card because SP will be by tonight. You know, the schedule will be crazy and shit like that. He be working, he be having to run back and forth. Y'all know I'm retired. You know what I'm saying? So we, they, they make it blatantly obvious everything with me. So I be having time and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I the daily shit like this, I'll just do. And then when he gets time, he comes by and we work it out. You know what I'm saying? And I did see the Rex versus uh, QB battle. I have QB kind of winning. Rex was still in that... <sighs> Nigga could barely break. Nick, my nigga, five miles a day, 10,000 steps. You'll be breathing right, you know what I'm saying? You'll be back to them shotgun shells, as red line wrinkles, but I squeeze this Gucci crime screen, you know what I'm saying? Your bread get better and you help get your breath together. That's why I be working out so much and running because when I be speaking how I be speaking, I need to breathe. You gotta get your breath control right, baby. Rex was real good versus Chess in the battle with QB. He had some kind of moments, but QB was in her bag and I had her clearly win and I had to give her props for that and shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? And um, so the resurrection card goes down. Uh, Tay Rock versus Bang Care Coffee Brown versus E Hard Kitchen Clean versus Bill Collector. Danny Myers versus Cat Boy Hurt. And some more battles. You know what I'm saying? It was a really, really, really good experience. That whole cage, bro, that cage is something in battle rap that I didn't even, I knew it was needed. But then when you seen it, it was like, yo, you know how I like the joints. And you know how sometimes you holler at a little joint, you get a number and all of that. And it don't really be on hitting on nothing. She look alright because y'all just passed each other in Walmart, you know what I'm saying? You got the little number and shit like that. Cool, cool, cool. So you vibing and shit. And then you go to her gram or whatever the case may be, and you like, whoa, this is some work. Yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. This is some work right here. That's what that cage card was. I said, oh, this is some work. I said, yo. How you doing today, yo? What's, what you got going on? You know what I'm saying? I want to see that joint ASAP. Yo, shout out to John Doe, everybody over there, whatever the case may be. I was, um, I had spoke to him when he originally started doing it, and I'm glad to see that he followed through and made it happen, you know what I'm saying? But that whole experience and that whole vibe is dope. But I just want to talk about Tay Rock versus Bankhead. Listen, Tay Rock was on the news with me. I think this nigga's trying to go back. He's trying to be back on the news, but this time for capital murder, bro. What in the world? Bro, he was wild. Hey, you a volunteer. I will strangle you with your ponytail till you got no air. Cops found him lynched. He was hanging on by a hair. I don't care. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like disrespect. That's Pussy. 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 I'm a bang leg till he brain dead. Chop his ponytails off and sell bundles of bank head. Chop them dumbass ponytails off and sell bundles of metal shooting. Metal shooting. You know what I'm bro? Tay Rock's schedule coming up. This is what I really. I really made the blog for Tay Rock's upcoming schedule, which is crazy. Like, he has a his schedule that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. That's why when he didn't battle Bandit band Montana, I'm like. How was he gonna do it? Like, how did he, did he even write for this dude? He has a battle damn near every week. And his battles that he has are good names and on big cards. And I'm like, wow, this shit is crazy. I gotta see if Rock, you know what I'm saying? It's almost a damn gauntlet for him right now. You know what I'm saying? So he goes in there, battles against Bankhead last night. And Bankhead's a talent, you know what I'm saying? He can definitely rap. He, he's been around for a while. And you know what I'm saying? He's been making his moves. But Zaw, when I tell you this nigga, Rock. Solution. I'm ten times better than Bank. I'm a credit union. <laughs> Was going fucking crazy. Like, in that cage right there, in that cage match right there. I don't think there's nobody that was in that building or that was on that card or that they was even going to find that was wilding like Rock was. And Rock got a lot of battles coming up too. That's the one thing. It makes it kind of makes you worry like, yo, is he going to be able to make it through? He got like Sirius Jones next week. Then he's battling at like A-War like a couple weeks later. He's got a lot of tough battles coming up. But what I will say is even though he's battling a lot, he ain't really losing, you know what I'm saying? He ain't really losing to nobody. And the thing is, he's bringing three, he's bringing, whether it's three rounds, he's bringing three rounds. 
a fire ass material to whoever. And he's not shorting anyone. Like, you know, sometimes when cats be battling in one round battles, they'll battle for like, they give you like four, five minutes, about a minute and a half, be dedicated to the person. Then it's I'm riding in the Lambo, blaming out the handle, candle, rant. Like, they just rapping about a bunch of random bullshit that has nothing to do with the person. It's a bunch of filler rap they call filler killers. His material be catered to the person. You know what I'm saying? I'm 10 times better than bank. I'm a credit union. Like, a credit union is 10 times better than a bank. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's some niggas out there that might not understand this. You know what I'm saying? When you deal with your financial literacy, you'll learn about, you know, CDs, stocks, bonds, equity, mutual funds, things like that. Whether it's buying property, whether it's opening up CDs, or whether it's just saving or investing in stocks. For instance, I invested in Bitcoin a couple years ago. Bitcoin was down to like, maybe like 41-ish thousand when I bought into it. Took some racks through it over there. You know, and when you first do it, you be like, man, oh, fuck, man, I ain't got my money, I want my money. But when you leave it there, and then year after year after year after year after year, I done had it in there four, five years, I right, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of smart moves that you can make out here. 10 times better than bank, I'm a credit union. Just wowing on this, man. I was like, yo, this shit crazy. So now he has the riot battle coming up versus A Ward. You know what I'm saying? He's battling A Ward on the riot. And like I said, Rock versus uh, versus Bankhead, 30 ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't even no other way to put it. In Milwaukee, they could have battled in the old Bradley Center. They could have battled at Marquette. Them niggas could have battled at the Broken Yoke. Y'all think I don't know? See, niggas be thinking I don't know about Milwaukee. Y'all slid through Milwaukee. My brother used to play for Marquette. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas ain't even know that. Y'all ain't even know I came from the Hoopers like that. Y'all ain't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Tss, keep cooking, I got them. So yeah, they could have battled anywhere. They could have battled <laughs> in Milwaukee. They could have battled in uh, Racine. They could have battled in goddamn uh, Green Bay. They could have battled anywhere in the state. Rock was going to fry that man. You know what I'm saying? He was bugging on, uh, on Bank. Bank wasn't bad, you know what I'm saying? Bank had, has a style that once you get used to it, adjusted to who he is and how he is, he's fire, you know what I'm saying? But Rock is not, Rock, Rock was just Rock, man. Rock, Rock, Rock is just Rock. That's all I'm gonna say, you know what I'm saying? It's battle after battle after battle after battle. He keeps doing this shit, and shout out to him, you know? Like, like I said, that cage element, I hope that, uh, that fucking, Black Ice Cartel, shout out to Black Ice Cartel, welcome back. A very successful event went down on a Sunday. Normally events don't really go down on Sundays, but they have the whole battle rap culture tuned in. Tay Rock was trending, look at this shit. He was trending while the Minnesota Timberwolves game was on, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker Timberwolves was on, and the only other thing that was trending, what was the other shit that was trending, was goddamn our battle rapper, Tay Rock. Shout out to Let's Talk Battle Rap, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna tell you they posted it, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, let's talk about it. I posted that shit. So yeah, uh, that was crazy for him. Uh, and in the poll that they put up with a thousand votes, has Tay Rock with 93% of the vote, and uh, Bankhead with 7%. Mm. There he lays in a black bag like barbecue chips. He was wild. Um, so yeah, Rock got A Ward coming up. A Ward is a really tough battle. A Ward had a lot of good joints, but. In this run that Rock has been on, it's kind of like going into it, you damn near can't pick against him. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk more with uh, Showtime SP and we'll do our breakdown and, and schematics as far as uh, who's going to be picked to in, in, in win that battle. Uh, we got a couple guests coming up. We will be back on television very soon. Myself, SP, the whole gang will be down in Hampton, Virginia. Was her rhythm in the home with the Terrapins, had it dirt cheap for them. Shout out to Virginia, Hampton, Virginia. We will be down there for Rare Breed Entertainment's card to breathe different, you know what I'm saying? Giving back, you know, sometimes when you do things, you give back, you gotta see some of the new talent, see who's nice out there, see when you start see, see some of that shit in real life. And SP likes that type of shit anyway, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go down to Hampton, Virginia. If you in the area, you know what I'm saying? You wanna tap out, you wanna, you wanna pop out with the guys, see the joint, you know what I'm saying? The tickets are available, you know what I'm saying? It's open door policy, pull up, hang out, you know what I'm saying? Have a good time and shit like that and vibe out. Shout out to Rare Breed Entertainment, shout out to Lawrence Wing, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is just my mission. So I wanna max out. So when I step to ARP two, three months from now and be like, yo, my nigga, I need a max out. He gonna be like, what have you done? I'd be like, bam, this is my resume, nigga. This is my resume build. I came down here and I and I then I helped, you know what I'm saying, with all the new niggas. So that process, I met the criteria to be selected. 
but I was. This is all part of the plan, so you know what I'm saying? This is my give back, it's my community service to make the community nervous. But shout out to the motherfucking gang, you already know what the fuck going on. Keep your money long and your game strong. And caps, I don't don't have niggas tagging me. I don't want I don't care. I don't give a fuck. You can say what you want to say, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna say what I wanna say because I got my own channel and I get paid over here. You know what I'm saying? If ain't no cartoon in the background, we ain't finna act wild. I don't give a fuck about nothing you niggas is talking about. You know what I'm saying? Dry off and you gonna be good, my nigga. Shit happens to all of us. We bounce back and it is what it is. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. But we not about to get mad at me. Oh no, I'm gonna get my money. I told you that. I did motherfucking 30,000 overnight, nigga. Let me do another 10, 15, and I'll be on my motherfucking way. It's all good, nigga. Tighten up. <laughs> Diva, that shit was whack you did too. You know that shit was whack. I told you that shit too. I definitely, I de oh, bring me back. I definitely let Devo know that niggas is gonna grind him the fuck up from now until forever because you can't be a league owner that be telling niggas back up, 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 and come to an event with a shiesty on. Backslap back a nigga and leave. That shit was wild. That shit was flagrant, my nigga. And it wasn't a punch. He didn't punch him. He 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 store popped him. He gave him, you know, like you tell your kid, you go in the store, be like, don't touch nothing. Nigga, he gave him one of those. You know what I'm saying? It was a it was a it was a, it was one of those. Don't touch nothing in the store slap. Cap stood on business, he was outside looking for him. Debo car was in the handicap spot, so he had to get the fuck out. You know when you park in the handicap spot, you trying to get in and out of there, you know what I'm saying? So it was what it was, you know what I'm saying? It was shaking and it was buckets of rain out there any goddamn way. But I do respect Caps for standing outside and wanting his fade back. But nigga, don't you think for one second that I can't talk about some shit on a channel that I built? Nigga, please. And like, nigga, what made you the nigga to jump out the window and just get the I'm so flabbergasted, bro. <laughs> I am flab I am flabbergasted, bro. I'm flabbergasted, bro. Oh god. I'm so confused, bro. These niggas got me fucked up.